My name is Joe Van Wyck and I am a videographer and photographer in San Antonio, Texas. I wanted to do a little episode on my recent experience at a Jason Lanier workshop. Uh, it took place in Dallas and it was his uh, lighting and posing workshop. Um, Jason is a pretty amazing guy. I, he's not from Texas, but he definitely has a Texas-sized personality. He's known worldwide, a uh, wedding shooter, but many other things in addition to that. He's a Sony um, artisan of imagery uh, designee, and um, the guy is super talented, but also really good at teaching. He's most definitely a Sony guy. Uh, before the trip, he had a little video and a, and a list of things to bring. I pretty much filled my bag up and brought everything that I had, and I'm glad that I took all of my, all of my gear. I, I definitely used all of it. Um, it, was, uh, it was a bigger workshop than I anticipated. I think there was probably 15 of us. Uh, in fact, I think it was his biggest workshop yet. But he was really hands-on the whole time. Um, and, uh, you know, I was like the obnoxious guy in the front of the class asking most of the questions. But I learned so much. I, I think the thing that I, I learned most and was most challenged about was, one, lighting. So you see this really harsh shadow on my face? These are about the worst conditions possible for shooting. Um, so the way to remedy that if you can't wait a few hours until the golden hour or the blue light is to use flash. So fellow students and I are learning just that, uh, how to use the flash to fill in. So we've exposed against that background way off in the distance, but our models are in the shadow. So we're using the uh, flash to compensate for that. I like to say that I'm a natural light guy, you know, and we had so many opportunities to test out um, off-camera lighting and on-camera lighting, both indoors and out. In fact, um, uh, speaking of indoors, we really lucked out because it was probably 105 degree heat, August Dallas, and oh boy, it was it was really hot. But we found this studio that we were able to shoot in for both days. The workshop was was two days. We had a couple of great models. Um, again, he was hands-on the whole time. He's big on fully manual, no aperture priority, um, fully manual. And so we would shoot, he'd look at our settings and look at our, our previews and give us tips and we'd shoot some more. Um, so that was very helpful. Uh, the class was so mo motivated, it really pushed me because there were some really gifted uh, photographers in there, beginning to intermediate level uh, photographers for the most part. Um, you know, uh, I brought home a lot of knowledge about my camera. I, uh, uh, I have a Sony too, but I also brought home so much knowledge about uh, marketing and, and what, uh, what he's done to, to grow um, his practice, his uh, photography uh, practice over the years. Um, you know, he's on every social media channel, obviously. There was a point there though that he asked everybody we were all standing around and he asked everybody uh, so who here first heard about me and these workshops on YouTube and every single person raised their hand so that was real confirmation to me about creating marketing content video content on YouTube and how effective that is so uh, that was really exciting and just got a lot of insight into how he's you know, how he's grown over the over time and and uh, also just what a great guy he is. He's involved in a ministry called Out of the Ashes, and um, it's about bringing these uh, just terribly destitute uh, kids in Ethiopia out of the trash dumps, sponsoring one child at a time. And he just got back from Ethiopia this summer and shot some really moving images. In fact, I'm gonna put that in the description below. Um, so it was, Really fantastic, highly recommend it. I'm really hopeful that I'm gonna be able to attend his wedding workshop. You actually go for a few days and you trail him and do an actual 
uh, weddings. So that's going to be tremendous experience too. So this video blog is shot on a Sony a7 II with an old vintage, oh, probably 30, 40 year old uh, Canon manual focus 85 millimeter f1.2 lens shot at about eh, f2, something like that. So uh, thanks for letting me share my experience. I hope you get to have an experience with Jason too. And I really look forward to the next time. Take care.